Hi, and thanks for joining. If you're new here, I'm Wendy and this is Nina's Jewels. My husband and I buy things at places like garage sales, flea markets, thrift stores, any place we can find things to sell online and flip for a profit. If that's content you're interested in, you're in the right place. Today's video is going to be what sold for the week of May 7th through 13th. Let's get started. All right, the first thing that we sold was a wireless router. It was a Netgear wireless router that we had acquired when we purchased a liquidation pallet from the website B-Stock. Uh, this item sold for $99.99, which was our full asking price. I don't yet have our per item cost on that pallet. And um, we are working on a video. We've got some footage and we're working on a video that's gonna be coming out probably, it might be our next video actually. I've, I've been working to put that together. So that video is gonna tell about whether or not we enjoyed our experience with B-Stock, whether or not we would do it again. So right now I don't have a cost per item on that, but I will probably coming up very soon. So be on the lookout for that. But we did, we have sold several items and we still have lots of items to list from that palette. So you, actually you're gonna see a lot of items in this particular what sold video that came from that palette. Next up was an NBA Dynasty series, Boston Celtics Complete History DVD. This was kind of a rare, hard to find out item. So um, we had comped it at an estate sale and I mentioned in our last wet sold video that this estate sale, everything smelled really heavily of cigar sm smoke. And we had hoped to get that smell out of the DVDs, but it turned out to be hopeless. It was like so heavily infused into the DVDs. It was, there was no getting that out. So we disclosed that in all of the items and this item did sell for $37. We had paid $3 for it, but we did get positive feedback on this. So we were pleased about that. And actually we haven't had any um, complaints at all from any of the smoky items that we, any of the smoky DVDs that we sold, because it was only smoky DVDs that we sold. So we haven't had any issues and hopefully that won't, we won't have any issues on the remaining ones that we have. Next up was a Nora, Robert, Nora Roberts Carnal Innocence DVD that we sold. We actually, I think, started out with two or three of these and all of them have now sold. We picked these up um, on retail arbitrage. We paid 75 cents for them and they sold for $14.99. This one sold for $14.99, which was our asking price and we got positive feedback on that. Next up was a puzzle by the brand Paper City. It was a hundred piece puzzle, brand new in package. It was an undersea theme. We got this in the Goodwill bins and we had paid 92 cents. Next up was a brand new in package, rainbow, pair of rainbow um, socks. They were, a, they were like unisex socks. So they had men's and women's sizes on them. And we got, we paid 50 cents for these at a garage sale and they sold for $11.99, which was our full asking price. Next up was a Bailey, I, Bailey's Irish Cream Ceramic Pouring. It was like a little creamer pourer. So it was real small, it was like this big. Uh, that we got at an estate sale. We paid $1 and it sold on best offer for $12 even. Next up was a pair of Mark Nason brand new men's sneakers. And we got two pairs of these at a garage sale. I'm not sure why she had two brand new pairs of men's shoes, but we picked these up. We paid $20 for them, which for us is paying up. We normally don't pay that much but both pairs of these have sold and this pair sold for $114.99. So that was a really good pickup, a really good flip. These kind of took a little bit longer to sell, but for that great of a flip, we were definitely willing to wait on that. Next up was a pair of Beats by Dr. Dre. These were the 12 hour all day wireless Bluetooth headphones. These came in the B-Stock palette and these sold um, only for $19.99. These were some of the lower end Beats by Dre. These sold for our asking price. We did not have best offer turned on on a lot of these palette items because we priced them low and competitive and then we did not um, want to accept offers on them. Although on a few of them, if they had sat there for a little while, we did make offers on some of them that you'll see coming up. 
Next up was a lot of four sample or travel size dry shampoos. Most of these were ones that I had gotten in like a birch box type, um, type item. These sold for $19 even on best offer. Um, I had no cost associated with these and they sold um, on best offer. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Next up was a 16 piece lot of Dora the Explorer toys. It was like a treehouse playset plus some extra toys. This was something that belonged to my kids. And so we had had this for a long time because my kids are now teenagers. So this sold for $27.68. And I have our cost of zero because it's been in our, in our house for so long. I have no idea how much we originally paid for it. Next up was a um, really good pickup that we found at a church rummage, sh rummage sale. And it was an 18 inch Jelly Cat. Um, that's the brand, Jelly Cat Plush stuffed animal. It was like Livy the leopard. And it was, so it was a large stuffed animal, 18 inches, like, you know, maybe this big. And uh, Jelly Cat is a very high end plush brand. And this turned out to be a more rare style. Uh, this one, we paid $2 for it and it sold for $75, which was a best offer. So we were um, very pleased with that one and we got positive feedback on it. Next up was a um, vintage Dallas Stars baseball hat that we had gotten at the Sugar Train Estate sale. We got another hat at the Sugar Train Estate sale that was like sold for over $100, I think. This one didn't do quite as well, but it was a good flip as well. This one um, we purchased for $3 at the estate sale and it sold for $25 even on best offer. Next up was another pair of Beats by Dre. These were the Studio 3 wireless Bluetooth over the ear headphones. These sold for $99.99, which was our asking price. That was a good sale. Next up was a Junior Olympics medal. It was still attached to the original card that it came on, uh, and it was a track and field medal. This uh, we found in the Goodwill bins. You find all kinds of weird stuff in the Goodwill bins. Uh, this, we paid 61 cents for it and it sold for $22.99. And it kind of sat in our store for a long time because it's such a specific item, but the right buyer came along and paid full price for it. Next up was a vintage Konica Auto Reflex 35 millimeter camera. I'd gotten this in a big box of camera items and for the whole box I paid ten dollars but I broke down um, the per item cost of that and said that I only pay 22 cents but this camera it's this particular camera camera was in really rough shape I could not even hardly get the back of it open it was kind of rusted it seemed like maybe it had gotten wet um, and it was just, it needed a lot of love. I couldn't tell if it could even be repaired. I did have a cool strap on it that could, you know, maybe be taken off and reused, but I disclosed that it was in rough shape. It even says rough shape in the title and uh, sold it for not very much money because of the, the condition that it was in. Um, but you know, maybe the lens could have been salvaged. I didn't know what all could be take, you know, parted out on it. So um, it did sell for $19.98, which was an offer to buyer. Next up was a Mattel Barbie. It was a 60th anniversary careers Barbie. And this one was a soccer Barbie. She was, uh, her career was a soccer athlete. So uh, she sold for $11.99, which was our full asking price. And she sold really quickly, which was surprising to me because when I comped this Barbie, the sell-through rate was not that great. So I was surprised when she sold as quickly as she did. Um, we had picked this up in a big bag of Barbie dolls um, and we picked it up for a different doll that was in the bag. And our cost on this was $1.09. So, and we got positive feedback on it. So this one really surprised me. I'm not sure why it sold so quickly. I think we just got lucky. A uh, next up was something we got in the Goodwill bins and it was the brand was Evergreen and it was an all natural 
kitchen loofah scrubber and uh so it's kind of it was it's a green brand so everything in it is all natural and you know nothing is um man no, none of the materials in it are man-made so uh this we had gotten in the goodwill bins and we paid 92 cents for it and it sold for 13 dollars 99 that we got positive feedback on next up was an american eagle swiss dot ruffle front blouse that we got at a garage sale. We paid $2 for it and that sold on offer to buyer for $15.98. Next up was a pair of Bob's from Skechers memory foam sandals that we got at the flea market in the big mountain of shoes. We paid $3 for these and they sold for $26.38 on offer to buyer. Next up was a set of the Hallmark party invitations, but these we had actually found in a thrift store. These said, please come over and they had rainbows on the front and these were actually postcard invitations. And we paid 14, no, they, um, we paid a dollar three for these and they sold for $14.99, which was our full asking price. Next up was something we got in the B-Stock palette. This was a set of Samsung Galaxy Buds. These sold for $36.99, which was our full asking price. Next up is another one of the DVD sets that we got at the Cigar Smoke um, estate sale. And this was a lot of The Simpsons. It was a complete set of seasons three through 10. And all the discs were included, all seasons three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And this sold for $52.99. We paid $19 for this. Next up was another pair of the Samsung Galaxy Buds. These were brand new. The other ones I think were um, open box or maybe used, I can't remember. Uh, these sold on offer to buyer for $71.18. Next up was something we got at the Sugar Train Estate Sale. It was a men's Fila Sport uh, fitted tank top. It was brand new with tags. We paid $3 for it and it sold full asking price for $19.99. Next up was another pair of um, kind of, you know, cutesy socks. These were like, they were called Star Spangled Socks. So they had a patriotic theme to them. These, uh, the brand was Wonderland and they were new in the package. We paid 50 cents for these as well and they sold on offer to buyer for $8.78. Uh, next up was a pair of Vince Camuto women's suede loafers. We got these in the Goodwill bins. We paid $1.50 for them and they sold for $34.99, which was our full asking price. Next up was a vintage Kate Spade black nylon shoulder bag. We got this at the reseller garage sale. Um, this we paid $3.28 and it sold for $40 even on best offer. Next up was a Wonder Woman beer glass by the brand Vandor. And we got this at a garage sale. We paid 50 cents for it and it sold, um, surprisingly, it sold for $27.99. So that was a really good flip. Um, I did not expect it to sell for that much and I expected this to sit in our store for a really long time so I was really pleased when it sold quickly. Next up was another pair of the Samsung Galaxy Buds. These were um, had, an, had a water resistant case with them but they were not brand new. They were sold as new open box. These um, sold for our asking price of $74.99. Next up was something that belonged to my daughter. It was um, an athletic tank top by the brand Aviva, which is a Lululemon, the girls, girls brand, brand by Lululemon. Uh, this sold for $18.99, which was our full asking price. Next up was a blank audio cassette by Maxell, but it was like a specialty one called Professional Industrial Communicator Series. This sold for $7.18 and we had gotten it at the thrift store for $0.27. Cents. 
Next up was a remote control for an Element TV. It was just a replacement remote control that we had gotten at a garage sale. We paid 87 cents for it in like a big bulk box of remote controls that we got at a garage sale. And it sold on um, full asking price for $9.99. Next up is the last thing, and it's another pair of the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro. These uh, were in used condition but they were fully functional and these sold for our full asking price of $64.99. And we do still have several of the headphones and things listed uh, on our website. So, I mean, on, on eBay. So we are gonna have to start taking some lower offers, I think, on those. And last but not least, I always go over the collectible cards that we sold. And this week was um, a pretty standard week for us. We sold, we didn't sell many, any like high value cards. We did not pull any of those out to sell. We just went with um, the cards that we already had listed. And we were also trying to recover from the mistake that we made when doing the end and sell similar, which we've now fully recovered from. We've gotten all of those relisted and set back up. Now we're just having to dig ourselves out of the out of the hole with the defect. And um, when they reassess our account, we will not be eligible for top rated status unless we can sell enough stuff and it's not looking like we, we will be able to do that. So we will temporarily lose our top rated status until we can um, pull ourselves back out of that hole. But you know, that's neither here nor there. That's just something that happened. We will overcome that. But um, we were focused on getting those items relisted rather than listing new large value cards. So now we've done that and card sales were actually pretty strong. So I do think that the ending the items and selling similar in that regard did help our card sales. So I still would not have done it that way, knowing what I know and having to go through all of that. And now with what's coming and losing our top rated seller status and losing our top rated seller um, discounts, that's going to affect us, you know, it's going to continue affecting us negatively. But um, sales were good. <laughs> and I think that's a result of refreshing those listings. But we sold 15 cards for a total of $49.64, and all of those cards that sold were, you know, between $2 and $5 cards. So that is really good, considering that those were all low value cards. So that finishes out this week. Um, we're just continuing to chug along and trying to knock down the death pile that has grown in the midst of us trying to um, deal with the mess that we that we had create, created from the ending and sell similar. But um, we're tackling that death pile now and then we're gonna get back out there and do some more sorting. And um, if you guys have any comments below, we'd love to hear them. And if you enjoyed this video, please let us know by hitting the like button. And if you're not already subscribed, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. That really helps us out a lot. And we love to hear what you have to say. Thanks so much. We will see you guys next time. Bye.